Hey there, welcome to Technability, I am Berge. So what we have here is the iPhone 5S running iOS 7.1. You can see right there, iOS 7.1, and this is Beta 1. So we're gonna go through its multitude of features, additions, as well as the few bugs that I found, which of course are to be expected with a beta build, but I wanted to go ahead and cover everything under the sun here in case you are wondering what it's like or in case you're interested in downloading this beta build uh, to let you guys know what differs from 7.0, uh, what to expect, and so it's not anything that you're surprised about uh, if, you, if you go ahead and actually update to this build. So first thing I wanna mention is battery life, all right? A lot of people have been having issues with the 5S battery life. Now, if you have had issues with battery life, battery draining quick or not charging fast enough, uh, if you take this to the Apple store, make an appointment with the Apple Genius, they will replace it for you. They will give you a brand new phone. Now I'm gonna tell you guys, this is my third 5S. I've gone through two other 5S's that just had really bad battery life. So I went ahead, uh, made an appointment with the Genius, and they actually exchanged them for me. And thus far, with this iPhone right here, the battery life has been better, but it still isn't up to par with what you would expect. Uh, which, you know, again, I'm not gonna complain and go return it again, because that would have made my fourth iPhone, exchanging it for the fourth iPhone, but thus far, it's been better than what I had previously. But if you are having issues with battery life, go ahead and make an appointment with the Genius and exchange it, they'll give you a brand new one on the spot. All right, so let's get started here with the lock screen. Of course, if you're used to iOS, then you know nothing really changed on the lock screen end. You got the passcode there, uh, nothing if you swipe your finger over to the left. Notification center, control center, camera, okay? And of course, you have the uh, touch ID sensor here. So you can unlock the device with your fingerprint, everybody knows about that. All right, starting with the notification center, you can see right here it says no notifications, no missed notifications, so it'll give you the little X. You could clear it away. And it's just a little bit smoother, I, I, I suppose. I mean, it feels a little smoother. I don't think that's a placebo. I think it really does feel a little bit smoother to your touch when swiping over to the tabs. Uh, same with the control center. The control center, obviously, if you bring it up, you can see it's not customizable. You get what they give you, but it's been that way since 7.0, so you still have the same features there. Now, one thing you're gonna notice is that the animations here are gone. Now, this was a feature that was present with 7.0.3 and above. So if you go to settings here, obviously, you have the swiping feature so you can swipe back in terms of uh, the gestures. If you go to reduce motion and you actually turn it off, okay, you can see now that the animations will come back. And then you also have that whole parallax effect here. You can see the dynamic wallpaper in the background. Nothing changed on that end either. You still have the same dynamic wallpapers. Now one cool thing that they've added is the ability to utilize a dark keyboard. So you can see that right there. It says dark keyboard. So if I was to go back here, go to messages, you can see there's the dark keyboard. Okay, so the keyboard is just as responsive as it's always been. However, I have had issues with the keyboard getting stuck and freezing on me. Uh, that's happened a few times now. Again, it's a beta build, beta one, so it's expected. You can see the fonts look a little bigger too, don't they? A little bolder on the keyboarder. At least that's what it looks like to me. Okay, so let's go ahead and try the voice. Hey there, how are you? What's going on? Hey there, how are you, what's going on? So I do have LTE, to LTE it's Los Angeles, uh, LTE speeds for T-Mobile. We could exit out, you do have the gestures as well. Again, it feels a little faster, just exiting out of apps. Uh, previously was a little bit, not laggy per se, but oh, you see why it was bolded? Because I had bold text on, so we can actually turn bold text off and it's not gonna be bolded again. So, all right, so if we go back, now you can see the keyboard is back to normal. So that's because I had bold text on, so I just wanted to mention that. But yeah, it's a little bit faster, a little bit more responsive to the touch. You can see by just you know opening up a folder, bringing down Spotlight. I know some people, again, were complaining about that little stutter that you get with Spotlight. Uh, with the 5S, it's all but eradicated, but sometimes it's still something you deal with. Now on the camera front, something cool is you got HDR Auto. So I could take a picture here, not, not a very good picture, and HDR Auto is actually on. So it'll automatically take an HDR photo for me, of course, you still have the ridiculously fast burst shot. You have the front-facing camera. There's a front-facing camera right there. I, I don't have my camera tripod here, so I'm recording uh, basically on top of a box. But okay, there's that. You have the filters as well for the front-facing camera. Turn to the rear, you have the filters as well right there. You have square, panorama, um, of course, video, and then slow motion. So nothing changed on this end. Um, the camera quality is the same. It's still just as fast as it always was in terms of taking pictures. Again, you do have HDR auto, which is cool. So you can see that HDR on, HDR off, HDR auto. All right, so let's exit out of the camera. The camera quality is really good. 
Uh, I've always I've been a big fan of the camera quality on the 5S. I think the 5S has one of, if not the best camera in the market today. And that's including video, uh, that's including everything basically, at least that's my opinion. And the Note 3 has a really good camera as well with 4K recording. All right, so let's look at the weather app. You can see nothing changed on the weather app. Exiting out of it is fairly fast. Entering it is immediate. Uh, something that you didn't get with the original iteration of iOS 7 is that immediate response when you touch it. Now you actually immediately get in there, in the app, out of the app. So uh, that's cool. I like that it's improved just slightly. I mean, it's something that Apple continues to improve on is the overall speed of the OS. So that's something that we're definitely fans of and excited about. You can see the browser, still smooth as ever. Great Sun Spider scores for Safari. Able to pull in like a 400 on Sun Spider, which is just really fantastic. It's actually industry tops. And you can see the pinch zoom super fast. You got the tabs, you could swipe them away. Incognito private tabs. You have reader mode as well if you're in an article. Uh, you can go into Apple's reader mode, of course, which will show up right up here. You can see that right there. There's reader mode, okay. So I do, do like that, fan of the reader mode. All right, let's exit out of that. And really other than that, I mean, it's basically just an incremental update, but it's one that I think Apple definitely is improving on in terms of the speed, fluidity, and overall usability of iOS 7. Uh, they've added some features, again, like the the dark keyboard, uh, everything else in terms of accessibility stay the same. You of course have the same Siri features, male and female Siri. Uh, you have the touch ID and passcode options, obviously the date and time. You can see the keyboard options right here. Apple doesn't really release updates that make too many dramatic changes. So in this regard, it's actually something that's more incremental but needed uh, for, for, for the most part. And you can see here the gallery. Of course, you got the gallery and then you can edit photos. So if I was to go here to these scratchers right here, I can edit this photo and you got all the editing options. And of course you have the sharing options as well. So again, I just wanted to show you guys that everything has stayed the same in terms of the sharing and, and majority of the features. Uh, it is an incremental update 7.1, but uh, it's one that's necessary in terms of just improving the overall experience of iOS 7. And we're happy that Apple has continued improving, even if it's subtly uh, on the iOS 7 experience. All right, well, if you guys have any questions in relation to iOS 7.1, let me know. Again, this is beta one. We'll be covering every beta build as it's released. Uh, otherwise, you guys are watching Technability. Don't forget to check out www.technability.com. We are your source for no-nonsense tech. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask us in the comment section below. We will be doing some how-to videos very soon on repairs. So we're gonna be doing repair how-to videos. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching Technability. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm Barrage. Have yourself a good day.